taking the team downstate when you were here. On your travel to Florida, and your travel to Illinois. We are so, so proud of you. And we can't say thank you enough for uh, bringing the bronze bowl, bronze medal uh, home to Joliet. So, congratulations. Congratulations. Four appearances, finishing fourth in 2005 and third in 2006. In her four years here at JCA, the varsity had a record of 133 wins and 31 losses with four regional titles and three sectionals. Two points, the age of 21, with single service aces, single season aces with 81, career kills with her in the year of 2007. She earned her athletic scholarship to the University of Florida where she had an outstanding career. <laughs> Victory View, the school newspaper. We have a few questions for you. Okay. Um, first of all, what were some highlights of your Olympic experience? I would say the biggest highlight for me was probably walking and opening ceremonies. Uh, there was a moment right before we walked out where all the countries were gathered together in sort of the same area and you were able to look around and just see how many athletes were there um, competing for the same thing you are. So it was really inspiring to be able to see everybody there. Sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, who's your favorite Olympian that you met while in Rio? Um, we didn't get a chance to meet too many people because we were away from the village. Um, but for me, the coolest thing was when we got to see Michael Phelps carry the flag out during opening oh, ceremonies. So cool. And then um, during closing ceremonies, Simone Biles was holding the flag, and so we got to walk past her and see her and um, take a few pictures. So that was probably the highlight. So. <laughs> uh, what did you feel like winning a, gold, or, um, sorry, a bronze medal for your country? It was a huge honor. Um, I think to be able to bring back a medal for us was what we wanted. And um, to know that everyone that was supporting us and cheering for us um, was still cheering for us all the way through to the end. Uh, it was a really cool feeling and I'm happy to come back and share it with everyone here. Right, we all love watching on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. Prepare you for your future volleyball career. Uh, JC definitely taught me a lot of discipline. Um, being a student athlete in high school prepared me for that in college and now um, as being a professional athlete, it definitely takes a lot of time management and um, a lot of self-discipline. Uh, you have to be able to motivate yourself uh, because once you're out there on your own, you don't necessarily have teachers and coaches that are on you all the time. And I think JCA did a great job of teaching us those skills. And um, I felt really prepared going out into life. <laughs> I've heard that you've been asked this question before. We wanted to hear what you said about what brought you to JCA instead of like anywhere else. Um, I just, I watched some high school volleyball when I was in middle school coming up and uh, I had a really good feeling watching JCA and uh, I wanted to be a part of that community and a lot of my friends were going to JCA and I just really wanted to be a part of those traditions and a part of that family so it was an easy choice for me. <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah. Well that's all the questions we have so thank you. Thank you so <laughs> thank much. You guys.
and roll model for our students here at the ACA. Uh, I'd like to thank our fans for being here tonight and our students and we are about to for came out tonight uh, to celebrate uh, Kelly's accomplishments. Uh, once again, on behalf of the ACA community, I think we need to add another banner to our gym. And in honor of Kelly, the girls want to throw this. Thank you.